so when a student walks in, they're going to walk into a 79,000 square foot multi-leveled uh, Trojan Fitness and Wellness Center. Um, as they walk in, they're going to be met with a, a rotunda area and a front desk. At that front desk, they're going to be able to check in. They're going to be able to, to find out what activities are going on. Um, they're going to be able to access the, the, the cafe area without not actually going in to the facility itself. In the facility itself, it ha we have, again, we have three floors that will have uh, fitness equipment on all three floors. The first floor, uh, the entrance floor, will have two aerobics rooms. Um, it'll have a, a wooden basketball court and then also a full-size mat court. So the idea of this was to have an open concept philosophy. So basically, when somebody walks in, they're able to look all the way up to the third floor, the second floor, and also the first floor, and be able to see what's going on. Um, see the activity, you know, see what, what kind of activities are going on. And so when they walk into this area, they have full range of vision of where everything's at, from who's playing basketball on the wooden court and to who's in the, in the mat court, to all the way over there on the other side where the Olympic lifting area is gonna be. This is one of the uh, aerobic rooms or Group X rooms that we're talking, we're calling them. Uh, and so this area will be for aerobics, yoga, Pilates, high, low, medium impact uh, type activities so that kids can come in and be able to have some type of fitness class in here. Any room that you go into, you're gonna have a TV on the wall. And on that TV, you're gonna be able to see what's going on in this room, uh, real time. Uh, scheduling of what's going on in this room and, and so it, it keeps the kids more informed of what what we have going on Areas like this with indentures. You're looking at cubbies. Okay, not not lockers, but cubbies So they the somebody's playing basketball. They can just put their bag in here um, And so we'll have cubbies spread out throughout the building On the other side is a group X room just like the one we just went into This is the mat court right here which is a multi-activity court. It is a court that has a glass wall around it with a netting with a rubberized floor inside of it. Um, you're gonna be able to play basketball in here. You're gonna be able to play indoor soccer in here. You're gonna be able to play volleyball. The reason we went with a mat court, if you have volleyball going on here, you can have basketball going on here and you won't disrupt either one of them. Uh, up on the second floor, you'll have cardio that will line this whole railing overlooking the gym floor. Again, it's, it's that open concept. So if I'm up here running on a treadmill, I'm able to see what's going on. People are able to see me and, and what's going on. You know, somebody might walk in and say, hey, there's Shane, he's here, so I'm gonna go ahead and come on in or whatever. The main goal was to be able to show a 360 degree view of the, of the campus. But again, we wanted windows in areas that show activity. You don't wanna ride by and not see anybody in here. So this room right here is going to be our spin room. And this is where we're going to have our cycling classes at. Um, in this room, the cycling classes, the lights, and everything will be uh, connected to uh, the music. And so it kind of gives that ambience when, when the music picks up, the lights will kind of flash. Um, this is the game room. So in this room, you'll have ping pong table, billiards, You'll have TVs on the wall with gaming systems. This will be wide open glass. So not only are you going to have weights, free weights on the, on the first floor and on the second floor, but we're going up to the third floor. Again, as you're running this track, you're going to see views of campus. So the track's actually going to be red because that's the focal point of the whole, whole facility. So what you've got down there is you've got a, a five foot leisure pool with zero entry on both sides. Um, they have not tiered out, but you're gonna have on the, the left hand side looking at it, you're gonna have three tiers of, of levels so that people can lay out on three different tiers. You're gonna have a wide deck area. Right down the middle of it, you're gonna have a waterfall. So as you're walking up, you're gonna notice that the parking lot's gonna go almost to the building, but that's where the outdoor pool is gonna be at. And the outdoor pool is designed so that it's below grade. So if somebody's walking up right here, they're not going to be able to see down into the pool area. So this outdoor patio, we're going to be able to teach morning aerobics 
uh, morning Pilates, stuff like that. Um, it will have a railing over it. And so uh, this, this will be a good idea during the you know, early spring, late fall, be able to come out here and do, do activities. So as you can see, you know, the university maximized every bit of area that we could. So we're all excited for in the fall of 2019.